fall ball practice has, uh, has been a good learning experience uh, for our program, especially this year, uh, more so than uh, in most years just because of uh, the new faces that are uh, you know, seeing the field right now. Uh, and in, in past years, we've had at least one or two guys in each position returning. It's, that's helped the development of uh, whether it's the offense, the defense, the riding, or clearing. Uh, get off to a you know a better start, maybe a more developed uh, beginning. Now we are starting from square one a little bit in certain positions, especially at the midfield. You know, losing four senior middies last year has really put us in a position to uh, have to develop a lot of new guys, not, not just in the offensive end, but in the defensive end and the riding and clearing schemes and uh, and everything that we're trying to do. So it's it's a it's been a tough position to uh, to replace, but uh, we got guys like. Roy Lang and Chris Langton and uh, Chris Ritchie, John Thompson doing a great job of kind of picking up uh, where, where those guys left off. And, uh, you know, Max Ebald and John Glenn, Rocco Rivera and George Calvert did a great job of leaving behind, uh, you know, a fairly detailed blueprint about what we want to look like at the midfield in all facets of the game. So we're pretty excited about uh, the development of some new guys there. and. Uh, we're, we're relying a lot on uh, guys like Rob Pinnell and, and Ryan Hurley to kind of give us the leadership that, that uh, you know, those guys provided last year, Max and John, and, and they've done a good job of allowing some of those uh, sophomore middies to develop at a pace that's going to be conducive to our offense. And, and then defensively, there's a lot of veteran faces back there. You know, without Matt Moyer, we certainly need everybody to step up and, and pick up a little bit more of the slack and responsibility that's, that's been left behind. But... Um, Max Feely, Pierce Durkak, those guys have really stepped their leadership role up and uh, taken on a lot more responsibility this year uh, within the role that's been left behind. And, and Matt Martinez and A.J. Fiore have done a good job of just, uh, you know, battling one another, but, but in, a, in a friendly, competitive setting. So both those guys are pushing for each other, but also pushing each other uh, to give us the best possible option and goal. So overall, it's been a you know, a productive fall, but, but certainly we got a lot of work to do and everybody understands that as we head into this uh, second phase of, of fall ball before uh, that, that preseason work that we'll have done in February. So, With eight practices in right now, we had a, uh, a wonderful opportunity to host our, our first ever since I've been here uh, fall ball tournament and uh, had Penn State and Bucknell, two uh, prominent Division One programs, come to Ithaca on Saturday afternoon and you know, each of us were able to, to kind of play a three-team round robin, so we were each able to play two full games of lacrosse on show golf field. And, uh, you know, it was a great opportunity, hopefully for all of us. I thought both Penn State and Bucknell looked very good at this time of the year. And, uh, you know, for our program, we were exposed in a lot of different areas, offensively, defensively, riding, clearing, uh, both good and bad. And I, I think that, uh, you know, it's what you want as a coach, it's what you want as a team to take these fall ball experiences, both practices and scrimmage events, and just try to build on them. So uh, I think the, the obvious understanding is that we're going to have a lot of work to do coming forward, but that's that's kind of what you'd expect at this time of the year. And we got four hours of, of film that we've broken down and that we'll talk to our team about in terms of uh, the things that we've done well and the things that we need to work on. You know, we're, we're, we're two-thirds along the way in our fall ball and having the fall ball uh, scrimmages yesterday against uh, Penn State and, and Bucknell. It's really given us a pretty good evaluation on all positions. And, uh, you know, there was some mystery coming in, uh, especially at the midfield, on who was going to play and who was going to take over uh, the, those roles and responsibilities left behind by our seniors. And I'd say if I had to go through... Uh, you know, starting at the midfield, uh, the, the position that we're most curious about as a staff and as a team to find out who's going to compete and play for us this spring. I would say a few guys really uh, did a good job of stepping into a, a new roles and, uh, you know, taking on the responsibility that they're going to need to this year in order for us to be su successful, especially down the middle of the field. Uh, you know, Roy Lang and Chris Langton did a great job um, at times of, uh, you know, establishing an athletic presence at the midfield and Chris Ritchie. Uh, alongside those two, ran on our first midfield, and all did a did a decent job. You know, we, we got a, a ways to go. You know, you leave off with John Glenn, Max Ebald, and Rocco Romero. You're gonna uh, you're gonna take a step back in terms of their maturity, in terms of their experience. But in terms of athleticism and and their courage to go out and make plays, they did a great job yesterday of uh, taking that first step. Again, we're seven practices in. Uh, you know, they got a long way to go, but but the the premise is that we have a long way to go before we. Uh, make that first start out in February 1st. So, 
you know, and some other guys that thought did a pretty good job of providing some depth. You know, J.J. Gilbane, Shane O'Neill, uh, you know, John Thompson, who played quite a bit for us last year, all did a pretty good job and, um, you know, are, are all in the running of uh, competing for considerable playing time this spring. And, and then you got a group of freshmen right behind them, Kyle Yunowski, Tommy Trasseline, Cody Levine, uh, all played very well. Cody Levine, in particular, scored a nice goal uh, off the ball, and all those guys are showing uh, signs that they're going to be pushing those veterans for quality playing time this spring, which is nice to have a little competition uh, as we go into the winter months. At the attack, we were a little bit more established there with, with Rob Pinnell and Ryan Hurley, and both those guys played the way we would expect them to play. Uh, managed the offense very well, uh, got other guys involved. Within the course of the two games that we played, um, they're going to have to continue to, to grow into their leadership roles this, this year, and especially Rob Pinnell. You know, as a freshman, I think he had a lot of uh, great veteran players around him in the offensive end, and it was, uh, you know, it allowed him to grow up at his own pace. And this year, we're just going to have to expect him, even as a sophomore, to take on a considerable more uh, you know, leadership and, and responsibility in terms of what, what's going on in the offensive end. And, you know, David Lau and, and Scotty Austin did a good job of. Uh, rounding out that attack and, and made some nice plays uh, throughout the course of the afternoon, but we still got to get stronger there and develop a little bit more presence on that right-handed corner. Uh, defensively, uh, Max Feely continues to be uh, a leader back in the defensive end, uh, especially down low. And uh, you know we got some veterans back there like Andrew McDonald, Michael Howell, who continue continues to make great strides back there in terms of his understanding and heart. So we feel like we're a little bit more established back there. Um, you know, you add some some of the freshmen who played what we thought you know some some quality minutes. Thomas Keith in particular at the at the pole backed up Pierce Durkak uh, at Longstick Midfield. I thought did a great job um, and, and seems to learn every day from the heart and passion of a Pierce Durkak and the way to compete and how to play the Cornell way. Um, and Austin Boykin's done a good job of, of picking up where he left off last year. So, you know, we feel like we got some established guys back in the defensive end, and we're just trying to grow up a little bit there with guys like Chris Lovatis and Jack Dudley and some of the freshmen that are coming in, like Jason Noble and Mike Bronzino. And, uh, you know, they, they've all done a pretty good job of, of rounding out what we hope is going to be a very stingy uh, defensive uh, unit. In, uh, you know, one with, with a lot of minutes under their belt. So the experience that we had coming in from last year or the last couple of years, we hope is going to really help uh, you know, kind of speed up the process offensively or just allow our offense to grow up at the pace that they're going to need to with some younger guys competing and playing for them. Um, you know, and then the, the two areas that, that face off X and, and the, the goaltending position are two areas that we really need to gain some valuable experience uh, on the job, and uh, they're just going to have to grow up quickly. You know, John Glenn and Jake Myers and Kyle Hare and Gold did a great job last year, and obviously John Glenn at the face up like, just established such a presence offensively, defensively, and with possession time that it's going to be a challenge to replace them. I'm not sure you're going to replace a guy like John Glenn, but we faced off uh, by committee this weekend and, and did a good job there. With all the guys against two pretty good face-off teams, both Penn State and Bucknell, and you know Kevin Razy, I would say of all the guys, really kind of uh, took the biggest step forward. But but we certainly have some more to do there to establish the mentality and work ethic in the off season that we're going to need to to pick up where we left off last year. And then in goal, you know, we kind of came in with a two-man race between uh, Matt Martinez and AJ Fiore, and I think both those guys helped their cause in certain areas yesterday that I think we're going to go into the off season with just both guys in that race and uh, we'll find out who does a better job of establishing the leadership and stability that we're going to need during this off season to start for us come, come February. So we got some time but we certainly have some guys making some plays uh, thus far. Again, two thirds of the way through our fall ball, we still have four practices left. So we're hoping that we can kind of clean up what we didn't do so well in our fall scrimmages this past weekend and make sure that before we uh, break for individual sessions and Thanksgiving that we do a good job of cleaning some things up and start moving the program in the right direction.